we like. Who's the most Okay, if you, if you guys. <gasps> oh, my oh my gosh. If you, if you guys. <gasps> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. I can't, I can't even Sorry, look. I accidentally pushed this. Oh my gosh. It's okay though. <laughs> <laughs> Matt! I can't, I can't even Sorry, look. I accidentally pushed this. Off to a good start. <laughs> so much tea, so little time. Well. So much tea, so little time. What a morning, what a day. Welcome back, what's good everyone? Should we address what just happened? Yeah. Yeah, I, uh, I tried to be a nice boy and I brought everyone <laughs> These are cookies, these the cookies, Aaron? Are these them? This is the brand? I don't know. They make so many different brands, but it, it looks, looks like, like one. It, yeah. I Wait. feel like it was Kimberly's that we had last time. Probably. When did we have cookies? You weren't here because you, you forgot. Oh, was that, when, <laughs> was that when Ben was here? You forgot we were recording. No, it was Lauren. Oh, oh yes. It was, it was Valentine's. The same day. It was Lauren and Ben. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. You're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, so, yeah. This is when I was at the Harry Styles concert. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> 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 we're like, okay, my well, badness. Right before we started filming, I went to go get these. And then as I turned around, I knocked over camera A over here. Yep. But it's all good. Everything's fine. We'll show a little replay. It's got right a now. slow mo. If we can. Ooh. These these are really good cookies. Yeah, they're yeah, delicious. Yeah, you never tried one? No. Oh, I had what? my first one on camera. Can, can I have one? Not yet. Nope. What? We have to wait. You have to answer these questions first. Also, Matt, <laughs> did you, you know the muffin man? <laughs> did you forget your water bottle again? Oh. Buddy, I said that right when I got out of the car. I go, damn, damn. it, I forgot my water bottle. Why don't bottle. you get yourself a water like a reusable yeah. one? I forgot. Like all of us. I forgot. Usually I have it in my bag and it wasn't in my Whose bag. Whose bottle do you like the best today? Oh, I hate that all we're looking at all three of these. I would say Carly's. Carly's looks the cleanest. <laughs> Mike's looks a little old. I can't tell what color the water is. <laughs> she got it from the well, rain. Well, that's because it's the color, like the, it's this color, the oh, bottle. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hmm? Do you want us do to you get sea monkeys in there? <laughs> do you want us to get you one? Yeah. No, no. I, I was with a little bit of a nipple top. How about that? <laughs> you can get an algae that has a little. Like... <laughs> <laughs> it's just a large cup. Did y'all do this intentionally? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was um, like, we should all have Nalgene. <laughs> Nalgene has Matt has beef with Nalgene bottles. He were... really made fun of me a couple weeks ago, and then double downed last week. Yeah. I just thought you're, you've been doing really well in life, like just to upgrade to a nice now water bottle. This is a freebie water bottle. This is like something <laughs> that they give you like for free at, at an event. At what's wrong now, with that? <laughs> no, just get a nice water bottle. They are nice. This is stunning. This is from their new collection, <laughs> the monochromatic. Oh, and it matches your outfit. Yeah, today. it really does. Oh, it looks like look Kim Kardashian. They have a really that. cute one, the new monochromatic. It's like a pink. How did you find that out? On the website. Oh, so you were like on yeah. Nalgene's website. Well, because I've had that one for like, <laughs> Matt, probably actually, like five actually, or six actually, years. Matt goes, we I, go on I Nalgene's website. If Nalgene water bottle, I assume you were given it for free. Well, Interesting. I don't. Oh, emo night. There, yeah. It's, yeah, it's a free one. Well, well, or are they selling that? Well, for yeah. me it was, oh. but, <laughs> but yeah. they sell it. I feel like the, until you see like someone that you love using one, then you'll flip. You'll do a little steak moment. You'll be what? like, Nalgene's cool. A little steak moment? Yeah, yeah you'll steak. do a little flip. Flip. Oh, uh, who flip knows? Like, you're like, like a steak right. opinion. Yeah, the power of influence for sure. Look at us matching in our gray hoodies. Yeah, you look good. Do you know who, me or, both, Carly? Around? Both? Yeah. Just me. Oh. oh. Oh, uh, I thought she was yeah, going to say her. just me. <laughs> just, <laughs> just me. I'm the only one who looks good here. Um, well, Matt, the good news is um, Mike doesn't need to really drink out of that. And I know you forgot your water. so if Yeah, you, you can have this one. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> it actually worked out. I we only did. filled it halfway because I was like, no one's going to drink it. Oh, now it. he's so excited to yeah. drink out of an algae. Yeah. Yeah. This was all intentional. Everyone, I get, your, it. get your screenshots ready. Matt's drinking out of an algae. <laughs> 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 oh, I got to stick my like nose in it. Like, oh my god give me a fucking yeah that's break. how you drink like expensive wine you have to get your yeah, nose in a glass you gotta True. smell the water that's all part filtered of the experience. water who's his favorite per who's the guy he was he yeah, that's an old one met before his appendix billy or oh pete holmes pete holmes if you saw pete holmes the analogy would you be like i guess we'll get one no, yeah, no, Holmes it would have like, to be oh, someone who's like note. objectively really cool like, like uh, ezra Koenig, yes. Yes. if ezra Koenig had a water bottle yeah i just don't like the smell of them too the smell? Like, you know how like a cup, when you have to put it in a dishwasher and it's been washed so many times, and then like oh, yeah, it, it has always like has that, that dishwasher, that like yeah. 90s. Oh, I know what you mean, yeah. You know it smells I mean? like the 90s. Like, smell, like that kind of smell. 
I get it. Like, it's not a bad smell. Yeah, but, like, I feel like like, any bottle does that. Like, if you smell a hydro flask, you, like, get, like, the metal smell or whatever the fuck it is. The metal. I know. I can't can't drink out of Those are so creepy because you can't see inside of them. I'm like, what's going on in there? I know. What are you hiding? (laughs) (laughs) We're we're talking yesterday about doing a paranormal episode, but it'd be funny because you don't. You're like, fuck that. It does not exist. It's not real. Yeah, whatever. I also don't have any experience. I don't either. Because it's not real. Yeah. That's like saying I don't have any experience with, I don't know. Sex. (laughs) 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 Uh, Oh, Carly brought up something yesterday. I have. have, um, You got some tea? But I also feel like you guys may know this, may know them already. But it may be fun for the listeners because there were a lot that I didn't know. Oh, that's not what I was talking about. But I know what you're talking about. <laughs> what were you talking about? The snakes. The snakes? Oh, I Carly saw on me. Reddit, like, people are commenting snake emojis all over your Instagram. <laughs> on mine? Yeah, and I looked and there's a bunch. Wait, there's like really? a Yeah, she sent me, like, a screenshot. Why? What for? I don't know. Look. Where did you discover this? On Reddit? Which are you guys Reddit? messing with me yeah, again? No. Is this another thing you're messing me <laughs> no. with? No. Is this a Wait, look, oh. look, this is your post with Patricia. What'd you do? What, what when is this what from? What was this? What date what dates were those posted? Oh, 12 hours ago, 10 hours ago. What the fuck? <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> what did I do? I don't know. I don't know. People it was just like, does anyone know why there's snakes all over? It might be like a bot thing on Instagram. Hit, Are they hit bots? one of the accounts and see if they're bots? I wonder why they're targeting that. No, I'm like having a full on fucking pan. What is, what did I do? I, the last time I saw a bunch of snake emojis was Elizabeth Warren when she was running for president. <laughs> <laughs> and I think she like, there was something that she did about like a bill that she was supposed to pass or like money she wasn't going to take or something. And she just didn't do the right thing. And then everyone commented. Oh, is snake that what emojis. you did? Well, do you know where that originated? The snake emojis? Yeah. No. Taylor Swift. And Kim oh, really? Yep. Because Kim Kardashian and Kanye were bullies to her, and then everyone was commenting snake emojis. Yeah. Kim Kardashian and Kanye West were bullies to Taylor. Yep. Yeah. So people comment snake on emojis. Because Kim was like, it's National Snake Day. Mm-hmm. Oh, so they commented snake emojis on yeah. her? Yeah. They bullied her offline for a whole year. Huh. Wow. I, w- I don't know, Matt. What's going on? I'm just getting fucking cyber bullied right now. <laughs> Thanks Wait. for the boost in engagement, people. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? What did I do? Did you guys tell people to do this? You guys did! You guys did! <laughs> Fucking hell, I had a feeling because you wouldn't be doing this like right now online. No. Well, what did you go? Where did we, you go? Well, we <laughs> Guys, is this just a prank mad episode? Huh? Good grief, guys. Mike is currently trying to not spit out his water. I'm crying at Mike. <laughs> <laughs> oh my okay, god. Okay, well, I remember this started. That's unbelievable. I did not know this, Matt. I truly didn't. I had no idea. I'm just as shocked as you are. Okay, we were filming a video with Joe, That's... and we were just like. <laughs> jo- Joe was like, whose receipt is this? And it was yours from like. Uh, the home state. Yeah, yeah, and so we were obviously like joking, said, but Matt we were like, we we're like, everyone go comment snake emojis because he's leaving trash in the car. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> oh my. We did goodness. that a long time ago. It was Wait, with so like where did Scott and Todd or something. It was in our YouTube, YouTube video. But then oh, I you... forgot about it, and then last night I was like, I wonder if people did it. No, yeah, Carly saw. sent a picture. I was like, Wait, what did we even say? I don't <laughs> I just, remember. I just can't believe they did it on my engagement. I know. Picture. No, and I said to that. I was fair, like, Oh no. To be fair, fair, I did not realize that was your last post. <laughs> that's where I'm like, what? This like, happened what one are... time before we did it with like Scott. Yeah, I for, it was like over something, you know, the same. It was like the same, like dumb like, thing. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds <laughs> of snake emojis, and he's like posting on his Instagram, God. like, why is this happening? Why is everyone <laughs> doing snake emojis? I don't even remember and what was we like, like said. Twelve hours ago, too, yeah. so it felt so like, wait, something just happened. happened. Yeah. Oh no! Wow, you guys played that off so well. Are you mad at us now? No. There's only one more coming. <laughs> I'm just kidding. One more round coming. Yeah. You'll have no idea when. Really, just like, uh. 
What happened? I just spilled. You had like, a little I accident? Sh- yeah. Oh, I like no. I yeah, yeah, get a little nappy. Get some, some tissues over Don't there. knock a camera over. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, Another wow. one knocks Dude, over. My takes brain a tumble. is like throbbing from trying to hold in the water. Because <laughs> it's like bubbly water, too. So as oh, you're holding it in, it's, no. like, it's like erupting. Yeah. Ooh, nice pants, Matt. What are those? Wranglers. Really? Yeah. Oh, can I feel them? He loves a Wrangler. All I wear are Wranglers. Can I feel them? Did you throw is all this? Is, are you about to set up no, another? No, joke? no, no, no. We're no, done. No, we're, no. Done. <laughs> we're done. You're done. You're done. You're done. Oh, those are nice. Those feel more comfortable than the ones you told me to get. They're the same ones. No, the ones that I got before, like the the denim was like really firm and crisp, and it wasn't like soft. <sighs> denim, well, I think denim, you, denim. After you wear them and break them in, like a true cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> Wranglers are the best, though. Are you scared right. that you're getting canceled? The, um, definitely not canceled, but just like I told everyone like what you said w- in the car. <laughs> wave of uh, something. <laughs> um, I don't know. I'm always like waiting to get sent to the principal's office, though. I feel like yeah, you yeah, have like this a... built anxiety of like God, what's gonna happen. That was yeah. in trouble. so funny, guys. <laughs> wow, <laughs> unbelievable. The, 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 this emoji, thing? yeah, I because like I'm just like okay, maybe there's something you need to deal with. Like <laughs> what happened? Let's go. Let's That's look just around. the kids. I was well, I was a little suspicious because I'm like, why would they bring that up right when we clicked record? Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm yeah. like, you're gonna toss my vibe off this entire episode <laughs> intentionally. Sorry. I was like that. Isn't okay. Smart. Well, Matt, now that you've gone through two pranks, would you like to try a cookie? Yes, actually, <laughs> I would. What do you yeah, want? It's like a cookie? toothpaste. <laughs> it just has um. Uh, no, just be careful and make sure you pick the right one. Yeah, yeah laxatives. It has laxatives in it. Mm. So I, I choose also... wisely. You never know what you're gonna get. <laughs> oh, oh, he picked. He picked the red oh, one. Okay. It's like Harry Potter jelly beans. Ooh, red for Republican. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'll have a blue. Is that good? Yeah, they're These really are good. better than those bigger ones that are. We were really saying good. that. Yeah. Mm. And these actually taste uh, like. Which one will make my mouth less? Let me look at your mouth. Is it going to be. Oh, oh my <laughs> God. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, I'm going for the red. <laughs> I also did get all over my teeth. Oh my God, it's so blue. Like it looks like Carly, you just you look drank like one of those. You look like you drank one of those smoothies from 7 Eleven. The. Not a smoothie. The Slurpee? Yeah. That's really good. Mm, mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. These are these are gas. Thank you for introducing them to me. You're welcome. Do you know what gas stands for? Like, that's gas. Good as fuck. No, it's no F. Good as shit? Yeah. Good ass shit. Mm. Well, that shit's gas? Damn, I just thought it meant, like, it's just... It's like an essential fuel. <laughs> like, <laughs> or, well, it's like... Gas it's... is short for gasoline. Petrol. Duh. <laughs> Duh. Thank I you. used to think it was that's confusing. so gasoline. No, like mm-hmm. gas is like a hot, one of the highest valued like commodities in like the world. Oh, so like oh, when something's gas, it's like cash. It's, it's always like a value. I thought right? I meant like it's so good. I'm gonna slam on the gas to get there. <laughs> <laughs> slam on the gas. And then we were like, we're our moms, like trying yeah. to figure out. Have you, like, have you ever said? <laughs> mm, have you yum. ever said and step on it? And step, step on, on it. it. I've said like, it as a joke for sure. Like, oh, we got to get there. Yeah. And step on it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and step on mm-hmm. it. Do you know the muffin, muffin man? man? How uh, were your travels? Uh, the travels were fun. We went to, oh, yeah, we went to the great together, state right? of Indiana. Indiana Indianapolis. Ooh. Matt got arrested. Matt got arrested. Yeah, what was arrested, that? Befriended like a cop. It was funny because in the video, I was like, this looks so fake. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, in the one that I sent you guys, I didn't cut it. So yeah. it was me going, okay, just pretend to arrest yeah. Matt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you posted on your story. <laughs> I got arrested. You know, yeah. <laughs> pretend to arrest Matt now. Um, yeah, it was really, really cool. Yeah, we befriended a police officer who was a big fan of the podcast. Oh. He even gave us like a police escort into the club one night, which oh my was pretty God. cool. Fun. Um, yeah, there was the bar line was maybe a mile long. It's like the bar in Indianapolis. For it's like one single bar. I didn't know there were that many people like in Indianapolis. I know, to, same. Like, it was it was like the biggest line I think I've ever seen. It was like Whoa. it was like a switch and repeat. It was like Disneyland. Yeah, yeah. Like a switchback. Yeah, a switchback. <laughs> it like, was like a line at Disneyland, and oh we got God. there, and we were there the night before. Was there an event happening there, and that's why there were so many people, or it was just like a normal night no, out? It was just, and that's like the like Friday and Saturday at this place, Brothers in Indianapolis. Like that's, that's it's a great huge. spot huge well that's a big sleigh that you got to just get right in some people were like okay really 
But yeah, it was a bit much. But we had the the police officer reached out. And he said, if we needed anything in Indianapolis to let him know. Wait, and that's what you asked for? And I yeah. texted him, and he comes up, like, lights Two minutes flash. later, skirt, no. skirt. Oh, my God. Yeah, and just walked us right to the front of the line. We felt presidential. <laughs> he, like, follows Wait, you Wait, so what did he car. say to the bouncer? He's a he, cop. He goes, I'm bringing these guys in. And they go, okay, do what you got to do. The bouncers knew him. Like, he, I think he, okay. like, And his girlfriend a was a bartender at yeah. the bar, That too. is so I want to shout them out. Funny. They are the nicest couple. And, like, I told them they are so welcome when they come to L.A. I want to take them out to dinner. They're the best. But I don't know if I want to say their names. I don't, want to respect yeah, their okay. privacy. Yeah. Don't the privacy. say their names. But it was also like a damn meet and greet for Matt at this bar that we went to. Oh, oh wow. Yeah. yeah. It was pretty great. Yeah. I was I, I loved the great state of Indiana. What'd you guys go what you guys do there? Gary Vaynerchuk's V Oh, that's right. How was that? Did you did you get inspired? Hope you're enjoying this episode. We're gonna take a quick break for a word from our sponsor, stamps.com. Click the link in the description and we'll be right back. We all use digital services to make our lives easier, whether that's automating the lights in your home, getting food delivered, connecting with friends, you name it. And with so much of our world digitized or automated, why stick to old school mailing and shipping? If you mail or ship often, let stamps.com do the hard work for you. Simply print postage and shipping labels right from your home or office. It's ready to go in minutes and there's no long lines or complicated setup required. With Stamps.com, you have the post office in your office. Postage rates just increased again, but luckily Stamps.com has the best discounts in the industry. They have an amazing partnership with USPS and UPS for unbeatable rates, up to 84% off. Plus, Stamps.com automatically tells you your cheapest and fastest shipping option. For the past 25 years, Stamps.com has been indispensable for over 1 million businesses. Get access to USPS and UPS services you need right from your computer anytime, day or night. There's no lines, no traffic, no waiting. Stamps.com has a long-standing relationship with USPS and UPS, and they're able to pass on amazing saving rates to you up to 84% off. Stamps.com is a stress-free solution. With Stamps.com, all you need is a computer and a printer. They even send you a free scale, so you'll have everything you'll need to get started. And if you need package pickup, you can easily schedule it through Stamps.com's dashboard. And if you sell products online, Stamps.com seamlessly connects with every major marketplace and shopping cart. So avoid the hassle and get started with Stamps.com today. Sign up with promo code G-I-P-O-D, that's G-I-P-O-D, for a special offer that includes a four week trial plus free postage and a free digital scale. No long term commitments or contracts. Just go to stamps.com, click the microphone at the top of the page, and enter code G I P O D. And now, back to the episode. Yeah, yeah, I would say so. What's really cool is everybody there at that convention is working on something very, very cool. Ooh. And I guess, you know, we go to like social media conventions yeah. where you meet other creators. I think when you go to a convention like that, um, it's so fun, all the networks of people that you walk away from and where they are in the countries and or where they are in the United States. Yeah, it was like people who are like starting companies and like, what's so funny? I just like, I lost my thought midway through. And I was like, <laughs> I have no clue how to land this plane. It's like snake, snake, snake. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it was pretty fun. Do you guys do you guys know who Gary Vaynerchuk is? No. Mm. Yeah, I feel like we talked about this last time. We, mm. Yeah, you've talked about him before. I think I always assume everybody knows who he is. Yeah, I mean, like when we were telling people at the bar, though, what we were there for, they had no idea who he was. But yeah, I don't know him. It was cool. Even I, when you showed him to me the last time, I was like, he doesn't even look familiar. Yeah. Was it? He's like, the one who's getting a divorce and marrying the twenty-year-old, right? This is what they follow. <laughs> <laughs> what did you guys do? When this weekend? This weekend. Oh, oh I um, went to EDC, but like oh, yeah. this is like gonna be Wait, posted a month from EDC? now. Yeah. Why? Because TJ was performing. Emo night does the set at EDC. Yeah. I guess E. Guess what time they performed? 1.15 in the afternoon. 3 a.m. <laughs> oh, boy. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm still recovering. You were awake at 3 a.m.? Mm-hmm. On a bunch of Molly? <laughs> so much Molly. Did you no, do I quit Molly. any uh, no. illicit substances? Uh, I had an espresso martini. Caffeine is a drug. Pretty crazy. So yeah. Wow. Caffeine is definitely a drug. I was lit. <laughs> I love EDC. Have no, you been? You, yeah. Oh, fun. I have been to EDC. It's, it was. It's pretty. It's pretty gnarly. It yeah, really goes it's all wild. Night. Yeah, they it's... literally have like a wedding chapel there that people just get married at. That's Can you lot. imagine being the kid born to that household? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it'd be full of love, oh, unity, God. respect, I mean, peace. It's in Vegas. Hey, did you know it used to be in LA? What EDC? Yeah, it was at the Coliseum. Electric oh, wow. Daisy is that what it stands for? Electric, Electric Daisy, Daisy Carnival. Carnival. 
The I don't know like if you can... Hellfest. <laughs> <laughs> you're like pulling up to it. You're like, yeah. mother of God. It's at the Speedway, yeah, it's right? It's at the NASCAR Speedway. Mm. So it's yeah. really cool because like all the walls are so high. So like driving into it, you can't even tell. But we in the artist area, you literally just like walk through and then look over it. Yeah. And you're like, whoa. And it's so like low down into <clears throat> the earth. I know. I just I'm not a a, a rave head anymore though. It's just not my scene. Like the idea of go I, if I'm going like, to a music festival, I want to see six different types of music while I'm there. Like I can't, right. I oh, can't yeah. go Same to thing. like a one vibe <laughs> kind of thing. Like a country music festival. Yeah. Maybe country's a little more, but like a, yeah, just a doof. I could not get into EDC music at all. Sometimes oh. it's scary. And I'm then you're like, on Molly, and you're like, am I going to be okay? <laughs> yeah. like, Is my heart really... pumping at the I need, like, same... happy EDM. Like... <laughs> I yeah, we Taylor watched um, Set the Sky. Okay. He was really fun. And that's all I watched, and then Emo Night, and then I left. Mm. We walked out um, as Galantis was playing, and that was really fun, but... I went to a Leith Ross show last night. Do you guys know who that is? No. Mm-mm. It's like a acoustic very mellow relaxed me and adam went we were there from like eight to like 11 and we were like oh my god we are cooked that was a long night oh shit he played that whole time no 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 oh. um david lee roth no <laughs> <laughs> roth ira <laughs> roth's child the family <laughs> no it was leith ross big on tiktok great oh. song there's a song called we'll never have Carly. sex you just and, perk up. Oh, oh. well, I was like, <laughs> I love him. Huge on tech. Billie Eilish actually posted a little screenshot from her car last night of Leith Ross. So I wonder who if she was at the Billie show. Billie Eilish. Where okay. would I know her from? Yeah, uh, who, Little B. Okay. <laughs> LB. But the point is, you went to a, an electric music festival for three days yeah. at 3 a.m. And like, I'm just thinking, like, last night I went to a concert that had like an opener and a main set, and it was just two hours. Oh, I wasn't there for all three days. Oh, okay. I literally okay. flew in at like six thirty. They went on at three, and then I was at the airport by noon the next that day. That sounds oh. so fun. I actually yeah. kind of like to go like and real play quick. a little emo night game. Just out. watch TJ go. Yeah, I could not do three days. Oh my god. But that sounds also exhausting. <laughs> like, I mean, just going to a concert, you got to just stand up the whole yeah, time. Yeah, I know. Our backs, we're getting old. I'm, sa- I'm in saying. Our ears. In our, our ears. ears. Uh, lately, I've been like, do I need to get I have like, some. some. Did you get them like molded or do you no, just stick them in? It's it's like a good brand, though. They kind of like fit to your ear. Yeah. I, I think I'm going to start is. doing that. I've been kind of paranoid about like my hearing lately. Well, or I was telling you... Carly, I saw, I saw it on TikTok. So like, I don't know how legit it is, but like, you know, that ringing noise in ears after shows? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's like, that's like all of those Tinnitus. things dying. Mm-hmm. It's and like then the they sound never of it dying. <gasps> I know that's crazy. I, I saw it on TikTok. I am not. Uh, it's true. ENT. It's true. Do you know how like the, when you have headphones now on like your iPhone, it will tell you what's at a healthy volume. Yeah. Like. You haven't seen that? No. Oh, yeah. It pops up and will be like, it will be like in the yellow or you're in the red when you're too loud. And I'm like, it just freaks me out that it's like being aware of it. So I'm like, I guess I got to. Turn it down. Sorry, yeah. sucker. It's just Sorry. the one thing I've ever yeah. had on my Principal's health. Principal's office. It's like telling me this is too much. Yeah. Oh, my God. Like, what a buzzkill. You... Yeah. <laughs> I've seen people's like Apple watches at Taylor Swift concerts be like, you're at a extreme noise level. Really? Type of thing. Yeah. Because oh it's so God. loud there. Yeah. Technology's wild. Yeah. Oh, that'd be so scary though. There's like a like, test you can do for how old your ears are where it's like oh, plays all the frequencies. Have you heard of this? Yes. Mm-hmm. It'll play frequencies that are really low, like and then it goes up really high. <laughs> yeah. And then... and then once it gets to like a certain pitch, like the older you are, the less and less you can hear. So the TV that you got me, the little VHS like sucks. Player, <laughs> no, no, it emits a high pitch frequency that I cannot hear, but Adam can hear it, and younger people can hear How it. How old is Adam? He's three years younger than me. Whoa. So thirty-eight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I, want to, I want to do this test at lunch break. We can do it now. Yeah. Do we do it now? Yeah. yeah. Okay, hold it up. Wait, to do the we mic. close our eyes? Oh uh, no, but let's just see. My hearing um, sucks right now because I have. Like my but I feel like I can just like are... look at Carly and be like, oh, yeah, we can hear it. frequency <laughs> test. Okay. How old is your hearing? Oh, I can hear it. Oh. Oh, that was a really good impression. Yeah. Put it near that the mic. That hurts. You turned it Do down. we just say when it stops? Yeah. Say when it stops. Raise your hand when it stops. To not interrupt. Oh, let's let's skip a little bit. This is hurting me. Oh. Uh, okay. That's like what the noise is for like dog dog whistle. Raise your hands. 
and say what when it is. You're going to raise your hand too, mm -hmm. right? Oh, it's a little hard to hear because it's... Oh. 30. Okay, yeah, it's pretty it, accurate. It's also the iPhone speaker is not like the best speaker. <laughs> so it might be a little Wait, bit... Wait, that, that's the age that we're supposed yeah, to be? Yeah, that's the age. Oh, so, like... ours was like so accurate. Yeah. Yeah. But but like there are people Mine's who... Mine's better. Like, I'm 30, I, I remember younger. doing this when I was like 18 and I heard it all the way down to 18. Damn. Oh, I, can't, I can't hear shit tragic. after 30. Yeah. Fun, fun game to play with your friends at your next pool party. <laughs> <laughs> See how fucking old you are. See how old you are. See how close to It's really to interesting because I feel like people who work in like music venues or places yeah. that are just like constant sound, like theirs is probably fucked up. Yeah. Oh, Especially like time. as a teen, I'm like, I don't need to wear earplugs. Yeah, like that's lame. Yeah. Do your parents wear hearing aids at all? <laughs> no. 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 Do yours? Do yours? No, well, my mom, I think, is, like, deaf in one of her ears. Sin. But I feel like she should get a hearing aid, yeah. though, because I've noticed. I'll be like, hey, mom. And then I'm like, mom. Yeah. mom. And then she's like, <laughs> yeah, what's up? And I'm like, like I don't know. You don't want to, like, point that out to them. Yeah. And then I think my mom doesn't want to get the hearing aid because she just thinks it's going to make her look older. But then I'm like, you should get it. Because also... Uh, if you don't treat like hearing loss early enough, that can also affect with affect like dementia and oh, Alzheimer's, shit. all of that. Um, you put, get, uh, I go and get hearing aids hearing. fitted. <laughs> I just did not get dementia. You, also, I feel like it affects also my mom's voice. She'll speak like so slow because she's not hearing. Oh, she thinks like, she's I'm being like, loud. Speak up, speak up. And you they, like project because because her internal residence is like off. Yeah, hmm. but I, I don't know. I love her to death. I just want it, like... Get a hearing aid. Make it aesthetic. Yeah. Do you think they make cute hearing aids? I think they should. Yeah. yeah. Or what do you mean? Like, pink? Or yeah. Lisa Frank? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm sure you can get them, like, custom. Like, Casefy makes hearing yeah. aids. Because I feel like there are kids who need hearing aids. Yeah. And they're like, let's make them cute for the kids. Yeah. And they I can do, know. like, there's, like, a little pillow they can drop in, too, right? Cochlear implants. Oh yeah. yes, That's those are always like crazy a videos. Pill? It look, it's like a tiny little thing they drop in. It's it's like a fucking teenage mutant Ninja Turtle. Have you ever it seen the like videos a... of babies on TikTok when they're like hearing their parents oh, for the first time? Oh my god, it's the best it's type of video. So cute, their eyes are just like, like <gasps> whoa, I can hear. Yeah. Or when they can see for the first that time and so they like, put those little, the little glasses teeny on their baby glasses. And, yeah. and they start crying because they can see. It's... They did an experiment on blind people where they gave them a wooden cube and a wooden sphere and they were blind and they had them touch the cube and touch the sphere with their hands to like feel the shapes <laughs> what i'm not no i'm laughing no go on and here's the question if you were able to give sight to someone who has previously been blind but felt a cube and a sphere in their hands and then you gave them the ability to see and put both objects on the table would they be able to tell Without touching it, which one was which? Mm, I guess if they know the definition yeah. of like a cube. Or well, a sphere, I think they right? would feel the well, difference. No, they, so like they feel it when they're blind. And so they, they can't they, feel it. So they, they they're see. blind and they're feeling it. And they're like, okay, this is this one. This is this one. Then they give them sight. And they're on a table. Can you point to without touching which one is which? I, yes. having no research or anything, yeah. would say yes. Yeah. They're like, well, this one felt round. It's that. Yeah. One. You know. That was the prevailing theory for many years. Is that we understood the brain to like be able to do those things and then like recently I think it was like 2004 when they were able to actually give sight to previously blind people it turned out that they were not able to do it Whoa. they just had no concept of like visually I guess that's, yeah what yeah the that one that always wild. trips me out is like how would you explain like a color to someone who can't see like explain yellow mm -mm. you can't bright but like but, br what, is but what is bright yeah in a way I guess I would try to uh illustrate it to them on like a version of temperature mm. like or you know there's things that are hot and things like that are cold it's warm and but so not hot. it's it's so True. there's a range like well color is on a spectrum so yeah. i think in a way like there's these different hues and shades of like oh yeah maybe we can play like the sweeping thing like boo and they're like, okay, this is dark yellow. and this is light. <laughs> yeah. That's yellow. Yeah, the or like, redder this song it gets, has the like a red energy. You play music for them and be like, this is like a very like green yeah. energy. Huh. Like, yeah. I don't know. If that's Man, how I wish I I, I wish I was more knowledgeable on. Maybe try reading but... a book. 
Do you next think this episode? <laughs> do you think, okay, do you think Braille? I was talking about this on Unfiltered. Do you oh, think, God. Or we actually we didn't talk about it. We talked about it before we recorded. Do you think Braille <laughs> is like still popping off in this day of like technology and like. Audio oh, stuff. Interesting. Like, oh, interesting. People could just listen to an audiobook. People just have their Popping Alexas. Off. Like probably for like it... signs. Yeah. For like because there's still like and... schools yeah. like and all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Probably. I'm sure. Should... I'm sure in schools they're doing braille. Welcome back to the Uninformed Idiots podcast. <laughs> yeah, we're just yeah. getting canceled by and the can, right. Do you think there's anyone who can see fully see who can read braille? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Teachers. Yeah. Like, yeah so many people. Teach yeah. Braille. People. I think yeah, you can right. learn braille, which that's would be really I mean, interesting. Also, learn. I feel like people who like have friends or family that are blind, <laughs> they probably like learn yeah. it because they'll have to like teach too. Okay. Does anyone know sign language? No. I know like some but it like should be the taught. Pledge of Allegiance. Huh. How did they I teach wish... Helen Keller anything? She was blind. You want to go yeah. down? You want to go down this? <laughs> Gen Z thinks she wasn't real. I know. This is that's what? fucking stupid. Yeah. yeah. Can you believe this? Everyone doesn't believe Helen Keller was real. Because they're like, no way she wrote books. They just think it was like a myth and like she wasn't really blind and deaf and it was just like a fake character that was made up. Oh, but we're the problematic ones. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know. I don't know. Like, I mean, what's... yes, no, she was obviously real. But how, like I I mean, it is kind of nuts. Like you're blind and deaf, yeah. and someone just goes like and you're like, oh, she's like, I'm going to write a book. Yes, yes. But what do you know what yes Water. is? Because she's like, no. But, how, but she's never seen... worked with her. But man. how do you communicate anything? The only way we communicate is mean? with sound and sight. And feel. Yeah. And feel in touch. She signed in her hand. What man. did she sign? What she wanted to sign say. Sign language. She, the way <laughs> we were talking about uh, feeling the cube in this sphere, she knew how to sense the touch Let's of see. her hand. I mean, I and should read a book on it. she would go get the water, and then she'd be like, yes. And she would like <laughs> sign water, yes. And then she was just like, then she, once she a... figured out how to identify everything, they're running around, and she's like, this is this, this is this. And she expanded her vocabulary. Huh. Her writing poems at the end, I don't know about that. <laughs> I think that's where people were like, like mm. yeah, like how did she write a book? Like, how do you know what I'm the word... I'm trying to find out. It Aaron's was doing repetition, the research we need. trial and error. Like, she just... She got... still has a brain. Like, she, it's just like... A, I know, It probably but... just took a long time. But I'm like, I am surprised how there is nobody else like Helen Keller. That was there blind are, and deaf. All... No, I think there, there are. There probably there are tons is. of deaf and blind people, but, like, none are, like, most... Have clout. I, have, have, <laughs> have, like, this full-on... <laughs> clout? <laughs> No, 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 cloud. This full on like in, uh, communicative like ability that yeah Helen Keller. I mean, had. yeah, I agree with you. She probably learned how to, and also she, obviously she probably didn't write the book, but she was probably like yeah signing whatever to whoever was writing the book. Her teacher Helen Keller was a nepo baby, right? <laughs> <laughs> she, yeah, wasn't she, she like? I think she was like loaded. No, it says yeah, money she... was usually short. Oh, oh. No, her parents were billionaires. I just remember in the movie she they was were born like, in Alabama. Really, Tuscumbia. Do you know what that is? I think it's pronounced Tuscumba. I don't know. I don't know. You guys 15 hear it? years after the Civil War? Oh, she wasn't even like that old. The Civil War? <laughs> How did That's she die? That's so long ago. Yeah, but like oh, so she for Helen a, Keller, like a, I'm like, I didn't even know. Helen, Helen Keller was a Confederate? Yeah. <laughs> uh, wow. In Alabama. Oh, wow, canceled. Canceled. Wait, yeah. how? But she didn't see color. You know what? She is fake. <laughs> how did she die? I uh, flipped her motorcycle on the highway. Shut <laughs> up. <laughs> no, it says that her Ooh, motorcycle. Um, her father uh, was a gentleman farmer. What is that? What is is like a weird <laughs> fucking thing. She just loved guns and his dogs, and money was usually short. So Definitely not a nepo baby. What website are you reading? The New Yorker. Okay, I wasn't sure if that was like a Wikipedia. Epoch Times. Oh god. Um, and then you guys want to hear a quick Helen Keller joke? Uh, well, other than the one you just told. Are we going to get in trouble for Helen Keller jokes? I don't think it's, so. Gen Z doesn't even think she's real. It's fine. They're uh, the only ones who so, will cancel So us. Helen Keller, famously blind and deaf. But So here's the joke. Why couldn't Helen Keller drive a car? Because she was she's a, a woman. woman. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that, that's I mean you're not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> this is a joke, guys. It's a comedy it's a joke. podcast. It's jokes. Good Nothing girl. we say is I'm real. I'm not kidding. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. There's just so many things. Have you ever seen the Helen Keller movie? My mom like no. used to. Two Helen, two Keller. <laughs> Wait, oh, <laughs> Helen to Keller. She, guys, she used a Braille typewriter to but write how? her book. But how? Oh. You feel it. That makes sense. But how do you know how to spell something when you're blind and deaf? It's the you two. Learn. You, you learn. Still learn. You still learn. How do you, her, you learn how we learn, but in a different way. 
I, uh, I don't know. It blows my mind. She's just a genius. But like when you're in school, they teach you like A, you know, B, C. Like, right, but you're of listening that. and you're looking. But if you yeah, are deaf but... and blind and someone is putting your hand under cold water and they keep signing to you what this is. And water. Then you realize, water. Okay, this is that. And then you go to the next thing and you go, oh. And then when you go ask for water again, you get a glass of water. You're like, oh, like you can communicate. It's like when you're a baby and you learn English or whatever language guess, that you're I learning. I guess, I know. It's just very difficult to wrap my mind around. Yeah. I guess they had nothing to do back then either. That like all day, every day. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, the Civil War was happening. I oh, guess. Boring. Yeah. That's crazy too. Like she got it from a sickness. She oh. did. It said they think it was like scarlet fever or something. <gasps> like she had a thing. Not the scar. Mm. Not scar. Damn. Mark Twain compared to Joan of Arc. Jo oh, wow. My aunt had. <laughs> I was going to say Ebola. It's not Ebola. Your nun aunt? No, mm -hmm. my other aunt had. um Ann Sullivan. Can't think of that word. Can't we're actually doing. What? Helen Keller? <laughs> a disorder podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, oh, polio. Oh, that's a scary one. She did? Was yeah. she in an iron lung? No, but she doesn't What's have any. That? Oh, an it's... iron lung are the people that were like, who had polio, who were in those big tubes and they were like. <laughs> it like works your lungs. What? You? Yeah. Oh, like is that a... like what we saw during COVID, like the ventilators? No, it's way worse. No, it was it's like way in the worse. 50s, basically... You're like in a chamber, right? I think the last guy just died who was in one. It's like <gasps> a giant you metal. You just live in it forever? Yes. Oh my Fuck. God. Because it keeps your lungs moving it's an iron so it's That's yeah you have to yeah. live in that forever absolutely put me out wait why because polio would basically shut down your, your body whole body and you yeah you couldn't move your legs <laughs> i don't get how people are anti-vax when like this was a huge problem with like the polio <laughs> vaccine know. and now like, it's fine yeah. do people well there was vaccine hesitancy around the polio vaccine but then Elvis Presley went on TV and got his shot on TV, and that like changed the trajectory. But nobody back then was like, he didn't actually get it. So basically, influencers work. So if yeah. you guys are trying to, <laughs> that what is were you saying about so the, wild. Before I said, in being people being. There's only three iron lung users left. Well, you yeah. think wow. that tech and that was technology in, you didn't that have was to in use 2018. anymore. 2018. Don't you think there's like? It's just people who have been in it since they were like kids. I know, but yeah, don't you think, don't think like, like we can move you to like something less intense? Like right. you can actually. So this person's laying but down their whole life. Suff they would suffocate because isn't it creating Ugh. suction so the diaphragm of their lungs can? Move, I don't know. Right? How it works. Isn't that They're what 700 it is? Seven hundred pounds. Because like Good. How underneath much is our that lungs cost? is a diaphragm, and that has to expand. And yeah. they make like Darth Vader sounds too. It's like, you know, like God. You know how you can like make a balloon inflate by putting it in like backwards in your mouth. Huh? Like you know how like you can go create suction of a balloon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. So it's like so that. Then you like have gum in your mouth, and you like suck it back, and it still forms a bubble. Yes. Oh yeah. So that's what like it's doing. I'm. Thought, I thought to like their lungs. Uh, I thought maybe I'm so wrong. That's so scary. Yeah. But she didn't have an iron lung. She just she doesn't have feeling at all in one of her arms. And one of our presidents was in a wheelchair too, right? Yeah. He, FDR. Yeah. Because he had polio as a kid. I uh huh. Think. You know the governor of Texas is in a wheelchair. Still an asshole. Greg yeah. Abbott. Everyone like didn't really Greg Abbott's like uh, in a wheelchair. Yeah, because just because be in you prison. are in a wheelchair doesn't mean you're <laughs> a good Patricia's person. Parents. I brought it up and I was like, oh yeah, Greg Abbott's in a wheelchair. They were like, what? What are you talking about? He's in a wheelchair. Like, he's always been in a wheelchair. Yeah. They thought they never knew that. They always thought he was just sitting down. Polio. Because like during COVID, I was like, I don't know why. I like <laughs> went on to polio and I was like, what's the similarity? Because people kept like comparing it to polio, like getting the vaccine and stuff. Oh, yeah. And it's just crazy. I'm sure like people know this already. But like during when polio was spreading, you could get it, but not have any symptoms and like spread it to someone else. So it was similar mm. to COVID yeah. where this lady in here, she literally just had a headache and they brought her to the hospital and just put her in the iron lung. Oh my God. <laughs> That's insane. That's like, I have a sneeze from getting COVID. Put you on a ventilator. Yeah. I mean, times have changed, obviously, but yeah. good God. I like seeing all those tweets that are like on April 25th, 2022, <laughs> everyone who got the vaccine is going to die. See, you're all going to die. And then it's tw April 23rd and everyone's like, that's like what it all well, no, is. it's actually no, June 4th. It's actually June. Yeah. That's what they do. They always move the goalpost. Yeah. Oy, oy, it's oy, like, oy, you guys got to get a lay for lay. Um, well, I have some fun news for you. I saw it this morning. I was going through my emails and in my inbox, I got a little Zillow notification that was like new listing and it's none other than the Brady Bunch house. <gasps> Whoa. And it's really How interesting. How much is it? 
$5.5 million. What? Should we in, pool our money? <laughs> in, yeah, no, for real. But it's interesting because- Is there a pool? No. Oh my God. It looks well, the same. They, they like didn't made shoot it in. Oh no, they, they did made like a replica. The, uh, yeah. They, they made a complete re replica of the Brady Bunch house. So it literally looks. They should donate this to like a studio for them to have like parties at. What? Yeah, here. Oh my gosh. Yeah. It really is just like the show. Yeah, no, they made a full replica. I like used to the live show right made a replica? It. My first because apartment. You know, no, how like the, the, outside, those people the outside was just the outside it, and then the rest yeah, is a studio. Yeah. They went in and they made it look just like Wait, it. Wait, that's really. Do you think it's like, like kind of creepy. Like in one of the rooms, it's like all the girls' beds. Like it looks identical. Like it I, should be an Airbnb. Yes. Oh, yeah. That would be smart. like something like that. Or like a tourist attraction. But like that. So, see, someone's going to come in, buy it for the five milli, and then they're going to do that. Because like mm. no one's going to live in that there's house. There's not a lot of parking, though. It's like on just a residential street in Studio City. Yeah, but like, there's, a, there's a driveway. You know, no, I'm a, saying if you're turning it into like a. Airbnb like or something? Like a museum. Oh. Like oh, well, I don't think sick. that you would even be able to get a permit for that. Okay. <laughs> Let's not snitch on the government here. <laughs> you, well, you know who's... Well, we can't say. Huh? Mm, yeah, I know. I know. Oh. Afterwards. Never mind. Yeah, like, look um, at this bedroom. Oh, my God. Yeah, well, the It'd 70s be fun to go, were the worst should We should go tour like, it when they have an open house. You, oh. No, they're not doing it. Yeah. What? You oh. have to get, like, approved financially like you have to show that you can afford a 5.5 million dollar home they're not doing any open let's, listings let's get david to do it <laughs> yeah. oh that's probably good for snapchat yeah oh my god it would be yeah but then i hate wasting real he shows time. up with 20 people <laughs> Um, Everyone's like taking pictures. Yeah, it says, yeah, all buyers must provide proof of funds prior to confirming showing. There will be no broker, caravan, or public open houses and no previews allowed. Damn. Photos and videos and or social media posting are prohibited. Oh. 24-hour uh. security guards are on site. Respect the neighbors. I mean, blah, it's blah, the blah. Most, most photographed house next to the White House. Is it is. Yep, yeah, no, that's what it says in here. It says, reportedly, it's the second most photographed home in the U.S. after the White House. Good fun fact. Wow. Damn. Wow, interesting. But like, who's gonna live here? Yeah, I mean, I think like that's an eccentric. Really uh, I think like a very eccentric. I'm like, gonna billionaire. follow this. I'm gonna look at it every day and see. What house would it's you want to buy? Is there a house mm. that's iconic from a movie or film? If you had the money, you'd be like, "Let me buy that house." I have a few. The Ooh. Back to the Future house in Pasadena. Good Ooh, one. Great I don't know one, what it looks Mike. like. Remember we drove by that area one time? Yeah, Pasadena has the most beautiful houses. Beautiful craftsman houses. Uh, the, the Disturbia house. That's Carly. a good one. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I remember you guys, uh, y'all had that clip from your podcast. Oh, yeah, yeah. Years. Oh, because uh, you know. Disturbia house. Also the house. That is a nice house. Ferris Bueller's Day Off house. No, the Donnie Darko house. Oh. That's a house I want. Where's the Ferris Bueller house? Isn't that Chicago? No, Ferris Bueller House, I'm pretty sure, is in Pasadena. Didn't that take place in Chicago, though? Yes. Oh, but also the Cameron's House, too, the one in Chicago, that, like, Frank Lloyd Wright-looking one. Yeah. Yeah. Probably, like, the Poltergeist House. <laughs> Cute. <laughs> no, not really. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. I don't have any in mind. Maybe, That'd like, the Grinch's so House. The what? The Grinch's House. Inside the big tree. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um. Carly did not understand the assignment. <laughs> Maybe like one of the Real Housewives homes. <laughs> Cheaper by the dozen houses. Oh, cute. Kat Von D bought that and she painted it black and made the pool Wait. red and oh, it's blood. Oh my God, yes, I've seen Whoa. that. I had no idea that was the Cheaper by the dozen house. That's the Cheaper by the dozen house. Wow. Yeah, yeah the made... inside's like scary. Yeah. I don't well, live in the, the three company goth. <laughs> studio though. Oh. Um, Whoa, that's really interesting. I didn't know that. That's a fun fact. Mm -hmm. I had Burger King for the first time in my life. You did? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? Uh, at the airport on the way to Indianap Indianapolis. And what did you, you order? They what did have we an get? Impossible Burger. Oh. Was like, yeah, because you kosher. Yeah. Um, someone once said in a comment, uh, waiting for the day where Mike doesn't bring up he's a Jew on the podcast, so I'm trying not to. No. Okay, you. we're not gonna di <laughs> we're not gonna diminish we his need... Jewishness. Yeah, we I'm not bringing it. it up. I'm just saying I. I... He's Jewish. Okay. <laughs> Mike Sheffer is. He's like Jewish. as a fellow Jew, I got a Impossible uh, Burger. Yeah. So they, I've never had like any fast food really because it's all meat and I yeah. can't eat any of it. But we were at the airport and Matt was like, I'm gonna get Burger King, and then I saw a big sign. We have the Impossible Whopper, and I got it, and it was fucking delicious. So. I'm so curious about that because, like, don't they cook it on the same griddle? Uh, 
They probably don't. Don't ask. No. Don't tell. I bet they don't. <laughs> okay, okay. They, they probably don't. don't. I feel yeah. like they, they can afford like. I mean, sure that it is the Burger King at LAX. Yeah. I don't know yeah. if there's like the they health inspectors know. like, <laughs> hey, wrong griddle, pal. You gotta like, keep it kosher. I don't know. Not the Jewish way. Be in there. Hey, <laughs> yeah. Move it along. Because I feel like in places like that, like some restaurants, when you're like, oh, I'm a vegetarian, they're like, oh, well, we still like cook the fries in yep. the same like oil that we fry like the meat or whatever. Yeah, it's a little, it's a little dicey, it's but a like, risque. yeah, don't ask a, a lot tell. of times French fries too will be made in uh, like, like animal fat, yeah. not regular vegetable oil. So usually you don't get French fries at a place like that, but I get the appeal. It was like, like fast food burgers are so good. It was so fast, first of all, which is incredible. <laughs> I mean, I, I never eat fast food. He's like yes. an alien who's discovering yeah. America it's for the first so time. so fast. It, 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 I mean, normally when you go and order food at a walk-up place, unless it's like a Chipotle, where even still, it takes like at least three to five minutes for them to make it for you. Yeah. You pay for it. You literally take like three steps and like 90 seconds later, they're like, Mike, done. <laughs> and it's like a perfectly made, it was like a bun toasted with ketchup and and all Pickles. and like a burger was perfectly cooked burger king's on the little like sesame yeah, like the sesame yeah. on the bun. Bun. okay they have so the spider-man good. burger right now the red oh, yeah. bun. uh i just got just uh i got actually a whopper junior who I, what is that just like a whopper it's like their standard like burger just a smaller version of it okay. like is i there, like, do it special again. stuff on it no just oh. like it's a good standard burger they i think uh burger king does goes pretty hard on the mayonnaise yeah they do i used to get like chicken tender sit like chicken tender sandwiches there it'd be like oh it'd be the bun or like a hot or a hamburger bun lettuce mayo and then like four tenders but the tenders were small they were like this Ooh, big okay. and it would just be that yes. yummy so good which what's the best fast food oh Wendy's. my god um like a whataburger if you're in if it's in your neighborhood but <laughs> my favorite fast food burger is shake shack <laughs> shake, yeah. shack. shake shack has the best is that fast, fast food, food though Yes. Yeah. Uh, and I something... think it gives it more like there's it's no, like Chipotle fast food. There's no drive through yeah. at Shake Shack. That's like it's like true. it's like a little elevated. It's like the same like as In and Out. Like In and Out's fast food, but it's like a Fresh. little elevated. Yeah. As like you're a McDonald's or BK or a Wendy's. But I think I like it better than an In and Out burger. There's some term it's or like some it's like gourmet food done Quicker fast food, food, but fast food done gourmet. You know what I'm talking oh, about? No. Dude, but Wendy's is so good. Shake Shack, I don't think it's fast food. It has to be. It has to have a drive-through. What's the best place that has a drive-through? I think it's fast food. Is there a drive-through? Not at our, that I don't location. know. Not here. Wendy's. It has to be. Okay, we've heard your opinion, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> Wendy's um, spicy chicken sandwich is like yes. my. Bitch. And they got Frosties, and the, yeah. the, the and the Frosty machine is always working. Yeah, they're never. They'll never down. let you down. And I always feel like people at Wendy's just have like a little bit more of like a, a cheer to them. And they're not really as happy fast. as Chipotle, as Chick Fil A, but. <laughs> Wendy's, it's like, we got you. Yeah. Uh, so what is your favorite with the drive-thru? With the drive-thru? Fast Probably in and out then. casual. Fast casual. That's like a Chipotle. Name. Yeah, it says Chipotle, Panera, and Noodles and Company. And Burlap Sack Potato Eatery. It's oh, bad. Panera is a good one, because they also have a drive-thru, too, sometimes. Ooh. No, Panera's not No, it's fast, fast casual. No, I know, Panera's but I'm just fast saying. casual. What is, I'm asking, what is your favorite fast yeah. food, as defined by okay, okay. Uh, having a drive-thru? In like, and out. Okay. I guess. Yeah. Or McDonald. Oh. I'm in Taco Indep Bell. I mean, yeah. I don't know. Oh, I like them all. Yeah. Taco Bell, though, I that's the I'm only one that's yeah. secretive about Taco Bell. Oh, what do you mean? I'm like, I'm not telling anybody. Else. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's just like it's. I feel Shame. like I'm going to like buying drugs. Like I'm just like, it's why? so good. It's it's why is it best. so fucking like it has to be I, healthy for me because my body likes it. Like I'm sorry, that's just how thing. science works. Like I, I'll take Taco Bell wrappers like after I've ate it and like hide it under the trash because <laughs> I don't want like the least embarrassing fast food to have in your car. What's it's the most embarrassing? McDonald's. Really? If I see someone with a McDonald's, why are we embarrassed? Because it's like, get your life together. You're eating McDonald's. It's for children and drunk people. Like, this is not. So oh, it's Taco my Bell. God. No, Taco Bell is Taco like. Taco Bell run through you like that. No. Well, I, that I only is get, so judgy. I only get the vegetarian stuff at Taco Bell, which they. They're beans? The, yeah, like a like a burrito <laughs> with like cheese, beans, rice, guacamole. Oh, and like then the like vegan? A, yeah, like yeah. vegetarian. Okay, my thing is there is so many good like Mexican restaurants in LA. I know. So I don't really ever crave Taco Bell. Why is that funny? 
I'm in the Baja. <laughs> <laughs> huh? This is sorry. It's an in, it's a oh, long, okay, long okay. story. I'm in the Baja. Um, <laughs> I'm oh! definitely in the Baja. <laughs> we get it. Yeah. Um, so I never like crave Mexican fast food, but like there's I like I'm always craving like a shitty cheeseburger. Yeah. God, I kind of want to get. Can we get Burger King on the way home? Oh my god. I don't know if there's gonna be Yum. any. I know they're they kind of not... scar scarce around here. Yeah. Mickey D's runs Wendy's. strong. Does McDonald's have vegetarian burgers? Probably. Let's just see if Wendy's has an impossible, impossible burger. I would like, before. now that they're available, I want to start trying all these fast food restaurants. Yeah, let me see. We did a video with Chris Clemens once, and it was like trying the, was it vegan or vegetarian? Mm. I think it was vegan food, like fast food places. BK. Wait, what's Bear this? Bear Burger. What's this list? Che okay, Cheesecake Factory, that's not fucking fast food. Oh my god, I love the Cheesecake Factory. We should do, I'll go there. You would go to the, that's where their me and Jared, cheese balls. back in the, the day. Red dude. Robin. Oh, never been Red there. Red Robin. Have you ever been to Umami Burger? Oh, yeah. They, they have, have Impossible. A, yep. I, I think I've actually had it from there. Oh, I wish they had White a kosher Castle. Oh. No, White Castle. They so definitely good. do not have, uh, you, are you looking at places that have vegetarian Impossible options? Burgers. White Impossible Castle? Sliders. Since 2018. Have you ever ate oh. out of Culver's? Yes. God, Culver's no. is amazing. And they got like 20 employees in that place. It's like the yeah. Apple store. I don't really like, I remember in Omaha, I had it a couple times, but the I don't Butterburger? remember it like very well. But maybe it's I, good. Should, I should start taking gambles on fast food because maybe they'll have. Yeah. I think a lot of places cater to like plant based options. And I feel like it's not as bad. Like the reason why fast food is like, I think, so bad for you. Is because of the meat, right? Like the well, meat. Well, the is impossible like... meat is like loaded with sodium, and it's still not good. Don't, KFC's don't got beyond fried well, chicken. Asking, I don't know. <laughs> KFC's got fried chicken nuggets. Oh, we, we tried them. We beyond. tried them. Um, Burger King Impossible Whopper. Can you send me this article? Wendy's? Do we got Wendy's? Starbucks has a Impossible Breakfast Sandwich. Oh, I've gotten that before. I think Starbucks has Chipotle. the worst food. Carl's Jr. Really? Beyond Famous Star Burger. Carl's Jr. I always just feel bad like ordering anything there. I'm like why? I'm like you guys don't have to make it if you don't want to. <laughs> like, they're like what? And I'm How like I want a cheeseburger. Want? They're like oh my gosh. And I'm like I don't. You know what? Never mind. You I know, don't. You know those Karen restaurants? <laughs> yeah. They should make drive-through oh, restaurants shit. like that. Oh shit! Matt yeah. wanted to go to one. Dick's, like you pull Dick's up. Last resort. Yes. Yeah. God, they, Matt always wants to go to these fucking restaurants. That's with just fun. Terrible I think food. it's fun. I feel like that'd be like fun to work there. the novelty of a place, McDonald's Mike. has the McPlant. I can't believe how many places uh -huh. are It says that they're us. testing out in select locations, Iowa, Texas, Louisiana, Southern California. Oh, Southern California. Most, That's where we are. Most recently, Don't San Francisco Bay Area has a Beyond Meat patty with tomatoes, lettuce, pickles, onions, mayo, ketchup, mustard, and American cheese. I do wish there was a not like... It used to be before Impossible and Beyond came out, you would go to a restaurant and they would have their own like in-house veggie burger that was made by the chef, fresh made every day. Veggie stack? Where is that? Wendy's. Veggie stack. I am going to piss myself. I feel myself. like that'd be a good... Do you have to pee? Yeah. You can go can pee. Can I either we'll, pee? Yeah, go, go, pee. go pee. We'll, we'll take over. That'd be like a good Joe Volpus video, like driving around to all the different fast foods with... We've done that. With Joe? Oh, with Chris Clemens? Wait, yeah, we had Chris Clemens. I think it was like vegan or something. Welcome back from uh, the pee break. Oh, I thought you guys were going to keep going. <laughs> no, you're, you're, bringing the, you're bringing you the heat me? here. Yeah, we couldn't talk about you. Or we couldn't talk. I Anyways. Can't talk. Uh, did you guys see Netflix is bringing uh, password sharing to, uh, you're going to have to pay for it. Like you can't have multiple profiles. I thought they already did this. They tried it out. It was like big in the news and they tried it okay, out. I was like, when's it going to happen? Well, yeah, they did it in like other countries and like it uh... went well apparently and whatever. Um, but now yeah, they're bringing them. it to, yeah, now they're bringing it to the U.S. where if you have an account and you want to have another profile, you need to pay like five bucks a month per person. Oh, uh, no. So, yeah. Uh. Oh, so, okay. So like, for instance, my dad has one and it's like yeah. John and then Carly yep. and then guess. So if yep. I just got rid of all of them, we all just use John. We can do that. Then you're fine. I think, oh. but I think if you're watching it at the same uh. time, can get, but I like how much is it per feeds. month? I like. I know. I, like I know. My, it's like the algorithm. I like it's mine. Curated. is different than like yeah. Patricia's. Yeah. You know. I yeah, like, yeah. You're you gonna have to pay up, baby. Different algorithms. What, oh, do we know what it is cool. per month? I've been five. on my friends since we were in college. I think it's like um, five ninety nine or seven dollars. No, or it's like got to be more. No, it's more. Well, that's like the I feel ad like it's supported like version. No, I swear. Yesterday, I saw it was like seven dollars, seven ninety nine. I think that's what it was. originally. I saw yesterday. I was like Netflix sharing. 
seven ninety nine. Okay, okay it's seven ninety nine per person after the regular fee. Yeah, but well, well the reason, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just reason I'm bringing sure. this up is okay. There was standard a... with ads six ninety nine, basic nine ninety nine, oh. standard fifteen forty nine. That's probably and the then one you that... can add the extra member slots for seven ninety nine yeah. a month. Oh my and then God. premium is twenty bucks a month, and then What's extra premium? member probably without ads. What and, and more nudity? It's too expensive. <laughs> <laughs> and showtime. Uh, so there, there was they a skin take flakes. nudity out. <laughs> they had a skin tweet. In, Netflix tweeted That's in. That's smart. What skin flicks? Yeah, a little a little after dark. Uh, skin tab. flicks. Netflix after That's dark. That's gotta be coming. Yeah. Skin no pun intended. <laughs> smart. You should start it. Skin flicks. Uh, what is your avatar on your Netflix? Um, just the whatever the letter is. Oh, you I don't, don't think have, I like, have one. You picked a custom. I think thing? mine is Jonathan Van Ness, but my friend picked it for me. She's like, "Do you like your?" She'll always change him. She's like, "Do you like your new avatar?" I'm like, "Yes." <laughs> what? <laughs> mine is. She's just like being silly, goofy. Who's got the time? Mine's Billy from Stranger Things. Oh. Like Dockery Montgomery. Yeah, mine is Jonathan Van Ness. <laughs> <laughs> he kind of looks like you from far away. Yeah. It's just like a happy guy to click on. Netflix yeah. tweeted in 2017, love is sharing a password. I know. And How fucked up is that? Hypocrites. And then the Uno account just posted a photo of the reverse, reverse. card. <laughs> I love when I brands know. like yeah. like go, you know. With other brands. Yeah, yeah. it's so funny. What I know. assholes. Money hungry assholes. Little bitches. <laughs> Capitalism. Mm -hmm. That's so sad. I wonder when that'll happen. I think it's like this month or June, uh. June 1st maybe. June 30th? Well, I don't know. My birthday. Hopefully my dad will pay for She's it. It's going to ruin the whole day. <laughs> June 30th is your birthday? Mm hmm Gemini? Wow. No. Cancer. Mm -hmm. Are you going to mm -hmm. write You're her a long note? Cancer. No, Cancer. Yeah. Yeah. He's a Gemini. I wrote Jason a long note for his birthday. And so I was you thinking well, you about, see him more than you see I me. I know. I was thinking about that. That I, I uh, You better start getting your notes out ready. I know. I know. He wants me to make <laughs> a, a speech draft. at his birthday party. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Speeches. There will be speeches. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's, well, he's making a video. What are you going to say? Um, I don't know. I got to work on something. I was wondering Michael if... ever. Do you want I... me to write it? <laughs> I can't go. Why? I'm not going either. Well, I got to go to a bachelor party. Oh, you're not going to be fun. here. I'm going to Denver tomorrow. <gasps> oh, shit. Yeah. That's fun. I'm going whitewater rafting, and I'm like <gasps> oh, terrified. Scary. Dude, like I'm getting married this year. Can we keep risks no, to a yeah, Matt, Matt, I went whitewater rafting once when I was like in uh -oh. seventh grade, and they told us it was going to be like level one or two, and that day it was like a level five. <laughs> <laughs> it was one of the most traumatic experiences of my life. How long is it? It was like, like three hours. hours. It was like forty-eight degrees three out. Three hours <laughs> Matt, of stress. My butt would be clenched. Matt, the whole if time. I were you, I would skip it. This is one of the worst. Well, you're getting married like months and, and from now. It's also something you can't really like have your phone out for too. <laughs> yeah. Like you know what? If I'm gonna do something dangerous, let me at least like make a TikTok. Do you and... know why the water is white? Because it's the running caps. over rocks. That's making it white. Okay, it's not just like bubbling. It's... Have you watched videos of people white water rafting? Dude, do not do it. Matt. We should look it up on TikTok. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna ever do it. it I'm was... like about to cry. We... <laughs> oh, no. Dude, it was like we. It was like a whole like school trip. My parents were there, and we had like my three younger brothers in a boat, and Johnny, the youngest one, was maybe six years old at the time. You guys are just flopping around. <laughs> and you just are in this oh fucking boat. God. You're supposed to tuck your legs underneath like a strap, and there's usually like one adult per raft. Um, and there's supposed to be one guide per raft, but they were like short on guides that day. They were just like, whatever, just put an adult in each raft and follow us. And it starts out like pretty slow, and you're okay, this is kind of cool. It's nice and quiet. And then you just get to like drops and like you have to like avoid rocks and all this like stuff that you just have to like deal with. And then all of a sudden we me and I'm in the boat with all my brothers. My parents are in the boat with the rest of my brothers, like my whole family. We hit a thing. The entire all of us come out capsized? of the boat. Capsized. Oh, my God. The boat disappears and you are just sucked in the water the water is pulling you like it's you're in a fucking black hole yeah like you're wearing helmets for a you reason. have to wear helmets and a life vest and matt <laughs> i saw like my entire i thought my entire family was gonna die like my my dad oh my was God. screaming about johnny he was like he's only six he can't swim and like johnny just disappeared and i remember grabbing like sam and daron and i was like trying to hold on to them and i wasn't strong enough and they just disappeared <gasps> and i thought my entire family was gonna what? die including I'm not, doing this? It. I'm not doing and it then, i'm not <laughs> and then this is just the story <laughs> i needed because i was like everyone in the the group chat is like oh hell yeah why want to rafting if you don't want to do if you don't like rock climbing because you're like i don't want to hurt myself like oh yeah oh. matt just you should watch some videos it. it's like a 
you're, I'm you're having gonna like be PTSD sore. from this. I was crying afterwards. <laughs> like we all, it was fine. Obviously, we like <laughs> that arcade game. We're like. Never huh? mind. Never mind. The arcade game where you white water raft in that tube. I don't think I've ever think done so. that. Never yeah. mind. I'm thinking of like Cut that out. you have to wear Why? a helmet. No, You're leave fine. that in. You have to wear a helmet. You have to wear a life vest. The water's yeah. like probably freezing. freezing cold. That was the thing I remember too. Oh, like, it's gonna be and it'll probably be high because it snowed so much this year. It's probably there's still snow in Colorado. Just I bet. Meet them at the. Just get a six pack and meet them at the base. <laughs> yeah. And be like, hey guys, great. That, that I'm was glad fun. you're all alive. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe this is out. like a different adventure, and you're just like going down a little river. Um, White water rafting, but... absolutely not. <laughs> I'll do a lazy kayaking, yeah. one, you know, but if you need to and wear like a helmet, in, no. yeah, yeah, I think as far as I will go is the rides, like tube rides at theme parks where it's like, oh, in a tube, yeah, it's like the raft ride or whatever, or lazy river. <laughs> yeah, I, lazy I river. also don't like going in uh, amusement park rides or water rides where the tube is enclosed. Those scare me. Why? What? Like a water slide where it's like enclosed. Oh, I need to be able see. to see oh. open air oh, the like whole time. Like a water park. Because I don't know if there's like a kid stuck in the tube. <laughs> I know. I, I understand what you're there's saying. There's an yeah. Always Sunny episode about it too, where like they they're like adults and they're going through a tube and there's like. Oh, Volpus is calling me. Matt, I, I'm about to. I need to. Ca- I want to cancel the white water raft. <laughs> <laughs> what day are you doing it? What's your itinerary? It's either like on Saturday, but he's like, guys, I need to know 48 hours in advance. Yeah, uh, tell them you're not going. I think we're going on a pontoon. Excited about that. Oh, fun. Well, that'll be fun. That's a lot less stressful. On the pontoon. Answered on speaker. But you never think yeah. about if like you're in a water park, you go climb up the ladder and there's a water slide and you can't see the opening until the very bottom. Yeah. What if there's like someone, like two people who went at the same time? Because I think the person stopped. who lets you go watches. Oh, yeah, you think sure. that 575 an hour 18 year old kid who's working there is making <laughs> they, they're sure they're getting paid more than that? Up. They have yeah. the person who looks down, and after that person goes, they go. I it's... love a water park. Me too. <laughs> have you watched Class Action Park? Oh, yeah. no, I have to so see good. that. So good. So good. About New Jersey. Yeah, yeah, it's so crazy how they ran that fucking theme or water park. Yeah, I love a good water park. Can we Me go too. to some this summer? They want it Six Flags. We should do a water do? park episode. Yeah. Water park there? Yeah. <laughs> oh. God, we should um, look at like the top 10 like craziest water slides. <laughs> we should incorporate this TV a little bond. bit more often. I don't like, think we can put play stuff, stuff on, there? on here. Oh, you can't? It's oh. like a static image. Oh, I thought it says Roku TV down at the end. It does. Where? There's no way yeah. we can like airplay stuff on it. I don't Maybe. know. We probably could from our phones yeah. <laughs> or something. Yeah, oh, see yeah. if you can do it right now. <laughs> Just a nude. A nude? Aaron's nude. Yeah. <laughs> what? No. Joe. Joe texts me, hi, look at the new reel. And then we're recording and I didn't answer. And then he called me. <laughs> His new reel? Yeah. What is it? He said, do we need that? Or what did he say? No, he just said, look at my new reel. <laughs> is it like, I, I don't know. I haven't looked at it. What the hell? Did he just want you to comment on yeah. it? Yeah. He took my phone the other day and commented on his reel. What a great prank you guys did on Matt. Thank you. Okay, I wanted to talk about something I thought was interesting. I don't know if you guys will think is interesting, but Nolan and I were talking about, you know, brands like Kleenex where like, that's a brand name, but we call all tissues Kleenex. Like jacuzzi. Yes. Oh. I actually didn't know that one. Good one. In band-aids. Yeah. So I look. I was like, what else is there? And I looked up. And there's tons that I had no idea. Oh, this is no. This is great. Okay. And I feel like <laughs> even if you guys know, maybe our listeners, it'll be. And it yeah. says like what they're what it's supposed to be called. So I didn't know this one, but let me know. Bubble wrap is a brand name. Oh, oh really? Yeah. What's the actual name? Air bubble packaging. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah. <laughs> bubble wrap. Um, yeah, the guy who made slay. bubble wrap was like, they're saying our names <laughs> all over the town. <laughs> no one needs air bubble packaging. It's also, bubble wrap. That is it, a good name. Also, it's interesting. It says its inventors first tried to market it as wallpaper, and as later as greenhouse insulation. A few years later, it started being used as packaging material and became popular after it started being using as packaging for IBM computers. Wait, they, honestly, it would be great. Like plastic for insulation is so good. Like yeah, you, wallpaper. Well, that's kind of hideous. The hell? Honestly, well, like, maybe it like got. I feel like maybe they changed it a little after. Who popped wallpaper. all the walls? Yeah, last yeah. Night. So <laughs> funny. It'd be nice if you just had uh, like, you had like a room in your house. Yeah, and, and it was and like that. And it was and fully someone every day. Or yeah. you, had a, you had a roll at the top, and you just pull a new fresh sheet down uh, every day. Stress. Stick it to the wall. I okay. love the one like the big ones, the huge ones. Oh. Yeah, you can like step on that. Oh my. god. God, I love that shit. I remember I moved one time and we just <laughs> put all the bubble wrap all over the floor and just rolled yes. around on it. It's oh, the best. Oh my God. Air there's packaging a, tape. What is it? Air bubble packaging. Yeah. Um, air bubble packaging. Terrible yeah. name. Um, dumpster is another one. What? 
I hardly Was know her. Tra- trash <laughs> trash receptacle. receptacle. Yeah, try to guess what it. I garbage hate. receptacle. Oversized. No, but garbage is in the name. Garbage dispenser. Garbage. Garbage House. compactor. <laughs> Disposable. It's mobile garbage bin, which is pretty straight on. A dumpster is a brand. So you go to dumpster.com. It's like, we hear a dumpster wow. ink. Huh. Yeah, so. I'm part of the dumpster family. Hey, Dennis Dumpster. It's actually <laughs> Dempster. Dempster. Uh, In a mashup of Dempster and Dump, Dumpster came into being fun. as a technical loading, or sorry, mechanical loading system. Genius. The term didn't become popular until the company came up with the Dempter oh. Dump Master. Martha Dump Truck in the Flesh. <laughs> Here come the Cootie, Cootie Squad. squad. Oh, Let's I have do one. That one. Uh, Ping Pong is the brand name. Oh, oh yeah. The game's called Table, table tennis. tennis. Oh, I've, I've heard Table Tennis for yeah. sure. Yeah, Table Tennis is like the name, but, but like, Ping Pong. So they would be like Table Tennis Balls. Yeah, but oh. Ping Pong isn't even the most popular brand of Table Tennis anymore. Like other brands have superseded it. It's like hard to find an actual Ping Pong oh. brand I did not know that. table. Yeah. Um, Another one is Escalator. What are they called? Mo- mobile stairs? Um, moving <laughs> stairway or conveyor transport device. Oh, let's just take the conveyor transport device. I don't feel like walking. <laughs> wow, yeah. these are really interesting. Escalator. I feel like this one's maybe obvious, but thermos. Like a thermos. I didn't oh, know that. Oh, yeah. It's yeah, like I didn't either. Flash. But like when I said it, I was like, mm, that makes sense. Temperature controlled vacuum sealed liquid transportation device. Close. Vacuum flask. Vacuum wow. flask. That sounds yeah. like a brand name. And it was introduced in 1904. Wow. Yeah, that's the longest ago one. Chapstick, I feel like everyone kind of knows that, right? I didn't. Oh, you didn't? Okay, Chapstick. No, Chapstick's a big brand. No, I knew it was a brand, but I just assumed that that... Everything was called yeah, Chapstick. Like I called yeah. Burt's Bees Chapstick. Yeah. Really? Well, that's, that's like yeah. the whole thing. Is How like we call... Boston of you? I would never pick up a Burt's chapstick. Bees and be like, can you hand me my Burt's Bees? Yeah, like bees? I need Chapstick. <laughs> even my Aquaphor. I'm like, well, yeah. sometimes I call Wait, it. I don't even really? use the brand Chapstick. I use like a totally like a weird ass brand. And, and I'm you still call saying, it Chapstick. Uh huh. Psycho it's supposed to be called lip balm. Uh, lip balm. Which, no, like, chapstick duh. is a sleigh. I Fris- love that. Uh, frisbee. Oh. It co- <laughs> flying saucer. Close. Uh, oh, flying disc. Flying yes. Disc. Flying yes. Disc. Wow. Carly, these are great. I thought it was interesting. Oh you should be on this podcast more often. <laughs> Thanks, I know. Um, popsicle. That ice sounds like a brand. Ice. What it's supposed to be called. Sorry, go ahead. Do you want to guess? Uh, Frozen treat. Close. Frozen, frozen summer water. Treat? Frozen stick on a thing. You're very close. Frozen, frozen treat on a stick. Yes, it's frozen ice ice treat on a stick. Frozen, frozen ice, ice treat, treat on, on a stick. stick. Could you imagine? F- hey, could I get one? <laughs> what is what, what would that be if you did an abbreviation? F-I-T. Frozen tr- treat. Say it again. Ice on a stick. Frozen ice treat on a stick. That's too much. F-I-T. Oh, wait, uh, a fit of us. <laughs> you mean a popsicle? Popsicle. Wow, I didn't know that. Laundromat. It's also a brand. What? There is no, that is. Supposed to be called Coin Laundry Shop. Laundromat is a brand? So you yeah. can't open up a place and call it Laundromat. I don't know. I think that's they like all a... say Laundromat. Yeah, I know. I think so too. Well, is it Laundromat? Oh, or... oh, actually it says the trademark has since been genericized. 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 And like laundry shops generic. across the world use it. Oh, okay. oh yeah. Genericized. Jumbotron. It's another one. That it's a brand. a brand name. Yeah. Large screen television. Taser. Oh. It's supposed to be called a stun gun. I thought they were oh, different right. things. Right. Wow. Oh, I didn't know Taser was a brand. I just thought it was two different names. <laughs> yeah. It's thing. a stun gun or a taser. T- <laughs> yeah. t- so if you get tased, that's like saying I got The Kleenex. company got you. Man, wow. when you make it in the dictionary, then that's really big some of these are like in the dictionary yeah like band-aid is in the dictionary Taze. okay this one was weird to me tv dinner is a brand what is co- yeah tv dinner is the brand yeah they came up with the concept to put for like single men who like are yeah but like they had ones that you could buy that just said tv yeah. dinner. Oh, that's so. what they were first yeah that's mm. what they were called at first yeah it's tv dinner supposed to be yeah, no, i just frozen assume. meal <laughs> Says today the term TV dinner is unprotected and refers to steady, sorry, re- I can't read, and refers to ready-made meals in the frozen food aisle, hmm. a la lean cuisine. I used to think that frozen meals were healthy, but they're not. So that was like what? six months when? ago. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, hey, this is I'm in progress. Okay, yeah. I'm taking the wins where I'm I can. I'm impressed. Well, I recently found out about the jacuzzi one because oh, when that's a good I one. was in Sonoma last month and I went to a vineyard and it was jacuzzi vineyard. 
and then I joked. I was like, oh, haha, like the jacuzzis and they're yeah. like no literally this is the family whoa jacuzzi family. like they just have a winery it's in where is it sonoma oh shit i'm going there and, so like an italian family is like hey let's make some hot tubs called jacuzzi the, yes the jacuzzi. and um uh, yeah but people call it a spa or a hot tub yeah but i don't know if that's um is sauna real or is that no a sauna is that's like a swedish word okay or a finnish sauna. word sauna sauna but it was funny because I was watching Selling Sunset and one of the girls, she was showing like a multi-million dollar home and she referred to the spa in the pool as a jacuzzi. Mm. I thought that was... You're like, you don't even know. Cool. Yeah. There's some like obvious ones. Are um, we going a little late? No, we, we should do more. Okay. We had a little it's break. It's only 1.13. Um, jet ski? Jet ski. Oh, a sea do. Huh? Is that also another brand? Yes, that's definitely a brand. Jet ski. Jet water. Ski. <laughs> small water boat. <laughs> Stand up personal watercraft. Oh my God. Jet ski. Have you ever been on the jet ski that you like stand on? Mm -mm. You know, like, like the wave race ones, like on like in Nintendo 64. Oh yeah. Do they still exist? Yeah, sometimes I see that some jet people are on the lake. so fun. This one's like shocking to me. Zipper zipper like a zipper for your jeans what yeah oh yeah the zipper is it the ykk family universal fastener company is the company the zipper of 2012 is nearly identical to the zipper patented by gideon sundback in 1917 used in everything from blue jeans to backpacks suitcases to spacesuits the zipper and its name have withstood the test of time though it has since officially been declared generic but Wait. it's supposed to be called separable fastener you're telling me that they walked around and called it that? I guess. Well, hey, separable fasten your pants, buddy. <laughs> your separ your separable fasteners down. <laughs> what the fuck? Velcro? Uh, oh. Is that interesting? That's like that's interesting. What what I like to know what the, the actual name is. Okay. Um hook and loop fasteners. Hook and oh, cuz it's technically like <sighs> I one time built a website for a company that sold all this like trade show stuff and when you sell these products like in mass market, you can't call it the brand name. So like Oh. If you wanted to buy, yeah, it would be called a hook and hook and loop fastener. Interesting. But it's like deep in the portal. <laughs> what the hell? Next you're going to tell me iPhone. Yeah. Rollerblade. Mercedes is a brand name. I just thought every car was a Mercedes. I know on here there's like Coke. I'm like obviously. Well, no. Some people will be like, oh, can I get it? Like I in know, the south or something. But some I feel states? like it's known that it's like that's a brand of a soda. I don't get people who say Kleenex for everything. Like specifically that. Do you I say, say a Kleenex? tissue. Yeah. Can oh, I, get I say clean. I say Kleenex. Mm. Tissue's the correct. It's or fine. Is it's fine. Who cares? No, it doesn't matter. But it's just like interesting because some some yeah. people don't know that. And when I I remember the first time I heard that, I was like, what? You thought yeah, Kleenex was the name of the just I just tissues? like had never really thought about it. Mm. I, I always like, just oh. say tissue. Yeah, give me a tissue. Rollerblade is supposed to be called in inline skate. Yeah. Whoa. Nice. Come on. I mean Jeep, obviously. I don't know why that's in there. Photoshop. I, I mean, think that's like Adobe Photoshop. It's no, but called... I could see people being like any anytime you like edit a photo, editing. it's yeah, called like Photoshop. photoshopping. That's kind of sick. Yeah, Facetune is Photoshop. It's supposed to be called photo manipulation software. <laughs> <laughs> oh do you know what jacuzzi is supposed to be called hot tub yeah i used Pretty to think easy. hot tub that's was like the one best thing. one so easy. i thought yeah, jacuzzi I feel like I was the one say. with jets because it's like jets jacuzzi so i thought like a you jacuzzi had... tub oh. like in your house oh yeah if you have the jets you have a jacuzzi mm -hmm. kerosene oh it's, it's a um a name it's supposed to be called also Drink introduced... on gin and kerosene <laughs> Whoa, we're not good, guys. <laughs> it was interested in 1854. What is it really called? Gasoline? Combustible hydrocarbon liquid. <laughs> okay. Or paraffin in the UK. I'm over it. Petrol. Petrol. Right, Why do you keep to... saying petrol? Yeah, we can be done. Those are like the best ones, I think. What are they called? Is there like a name for that type of thing? Genericized? Um, yeah. I, f I think it's like genericized phrases. It's like brand phrases. something. It's hmm. called, hold on, I have it. It's just brands turned household names. I think they're called genericized terms. Yeah. That's actually a company. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was a good joke. That was a good like, joke. Is, is a microphone a company? No. Now I'm questioning is, everything. Like a TV? Microphone, microphone, Whoa, they were going to be driving home. Touch like, hand. Yeah. 
a chair. chair. It's not a chair. Earring. It's a seated ornament. <laughs> <laughs> seated ornament. It's not a car. A it's... Christmas tree? Maybe. Nah. I think it would be on this list. That's pretty common. All but right. I'm sure there's more. Well, that was fun, everybody. I can try to find absolutely. more if, if we have any. Um, absolutely. But thank you so for... So checked out. I'm, absolutely. Dude, I, have, I, yeah, need to, yeah. I need to know. Okay. Bye, everyone. Okay. Bye, see you next bye guys. Bye, we'll see you bye, next guys. time.